Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Muggle Magic. Today we'll be making a Hogwarts student ID. Now this has been requested quite a bit, so here it goes. Check out the description box below for a list of supplies you're gonna need, as well as links to the free downloadable templates, and let's get started. So real quick, I just wanna go over this uh, very briefly in Photoshop. I'm not gonna go into much detail because I've already done the same type of stuff in uh, my previous videos, so if you need to know something specific, you can just take a look at those videos. So go ahead and open up the zip file and you'll see these folders in here. Um, inside the PSD folder, we have the Hogwarts ID and fonts. You wanna install both of these fonts and then we can open up the Hogwarts ID in Photoshop. You could also open this up in GIMP, um, but if you open it up in GIMP, the text layers, I've, I just found this out after posting my last video, but the text layers will turn in to just like flat layers that are not editable so basically if you do this in GIMP you're just gonna have to remove all of these text layers and recreate uh, new text layers for all of this but if you're doing it in Photoshop it's easy so you can edit any of this text as long as you have the fonts installed it should look fine um, and then up here we have the photo layer and the photo texture layer so just like in my other videos uh, the photo is masked so this is the layer mask here, and this is the layer mask for the photo texture here. Um, so yeah, you can just mess around with that. And the photo layer I have is actually a smart object, which I haven't talked about yet on my channel. So this is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this. Um, in order to copy all of these filters over, um, you would need to right click on the layer and uh, like once you pull in a photo, of your of your own you'll right click on your photo layer and then you will want to convert to smart object and then once it's converted to smart object just like moving a um, layer mask from uh, layer to layer you can hold alt click and drag and drop so you would do that with the uh, little effects over here right next to where it says fx you have those two little circles if you alt click and drag, you can drop that on another smart layer. So once you do that, yeah, you can just copy all these over and then they're actually adjustable. So if you select any of these, yeah, just ignore that, you can actually continue to adjust um, these settings however you want for each one of these filters that I have on here. Okay, that's all I'm gonna go over here. Um, it, you, you should be able to figure the rest of this out by watching uh, some of the other videos that have Photoshop tutorials in them as well on my channel. I will also link a couple of those, especially the ones dealing, the one dealing with layer masks actually. That's the one that I'll link in the description box to help you out with that. Now, once you've customized your template, you will want to print these out. I printed the ID on a thicker cardstock um, and then the envelope I printed on a thinner cardstock. Now we just need to cut these out and I'm gonna be doing that with a ruler and an X-Acto knife so that I get the uh, perfectly straight edges. For this part of the envelope, I'm just going to use uh, scissors. So it should end up looking about like this. And for the ID card, I'm going to use a corner rounder just to round off all these corners. If you use the corner rounder to round off all these corners, it will make the ID look a little bit better. Okay, so now the ID itself is pretty much finished. What we need to do is fold this envelope and glue it together. So. Um, let's see, this part will fold right here. And then at this point, we can also fold these two sides that kind of come off from the edge here. These are gonna fold in underneath. So to make sure I'm folding in the right place, I will just do this and use this part sort of as a guide for my folding. 
There we go. So as you can see, that becomes a um, like a pouch for the ID to sit in. And I am going to take my corner rounder to these parts as well, just to make it uh, not only look better, but it'll also be easier to slide the card in there if we do that. All right, so now let's just use a glue stick and we're gonna put glue on the edges that we just cut. Now we can fold them in like that and then just fold this over them. And then we can press it down and they should glue on pretty easily. And then your ID card should slide in right there. And now you just fold this over. So the ID we can take out and round the corners on all sides of this envelope. So that's these two top ones and we're also going to round these two bottom ones. So it should look like that. And then once it's closed, we're also going to round, we're also gonna round these two. So the whole thing should be rounded. Now this should fit in like a wallet pretty easily as well. So if you wanted to carry it with you, you can. If you want to win a personalized Hogwarts student ID, the uh, weekly giveaway link is in the description box below. You'll also find a giveaway link down there for my 20K giveaway, which is going to be a Muggle Magic mystery box, which includes a Marauder's Map, a Quibbler, as well as five other items. And a few of these are things that I've made in the past on my channel, but a couple of them are going to be brand new items that I have not released yet. So once the winner is chosen and they receive this Muggle Magic Mystery Box, after that I will also release DIY videos for these items. And now to announce the six winners for the Borgen and Burks catalogs. And the winners are Shivani Verma, Angelin Flauda, Bella198625, Adrian Misick, Jose Miguel Acosta Curiel, and Jenna Hester. Congratulations to all of you, and I have sent each one of you an email with instructions on how you can claim your prize. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.